Hey, good morning, Angelica. I'm James from Sherlingo. How are you today? I'm good. Uh, how are you? Excellent. Excellent. So, what are we? You're going to do your citizenship test, right? Yes. Yes. And in like two weeks? Yeah. Three weeks? About three uh -huh. weeks, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have been studying um, this uh, this document that uh, we sent you, right? Yes. Okay. Do you think, do you like this document with Spanish and English both? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, does, does it help? Uh, yes, of course. To have the Spanish there? Okay, good. Um, so people can download this document for free from our website. Uh, we'll put a link on this page. All right. Okay. So what we are doing is going through these questions together, and I'm reading in English. Estoy leyendo en inglés, por supuesto, porque la entrevista va a estar en inglés, pero también tenemos uh, las preguntas en español. Okay, para ver. Bueno, okay. Let's, uh, let's go. So the first section is principles um, of American democracy, right? Yes. Okay, um, so this is where it talks about the amendments, the Bill of Rights, these types of things. Uh, let's see here. What is one right or freedom, speech, religion? Okay. Um, so what is freedom of religion? Uh, you can practice any religions or or no practice uh, a religion. Exactly. You can practice any religion or none at all, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is why people came to the United States in the first place, is freedom of religion, right? What mm -hmm. is the economic system in the United States? Uh, capitalist. Mm -hmm. Capitalist, right? Cap Capitalista. Capitalist? Cap capitalist. Mm -hmm. Or another word is, another way to say that is a market economy. Okay, market economy. Right. Uh, capitalist economy or market economy. Okay. What is the difference? I don't know. Okay, so capitalist uh, is where we have we have the rights the economic system is that um, the uh, the market economy okay the market the people who buy things are going to determine um, what they want and what they want to buy all right the government is not going to tell people what to buy or what to sell we are okay. going. We are going to let the market specify or or choose what they want to buy and what they want to sell. Okay. Make sense. So we call that capitalism or a market economy. Okay. And what is the rule of law? Mm, everybody must follow the law. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, everybody. So that includes the leaders and the government, and nobody is above the law, right? Mm -hmm. And I see some of these switched. Uh, we need to look at this, the English and Spanish. All right. Uh, Economia capitalista. Okay, so... Uh, let me make a note here in number number 12 we need to look at that is somebody working on your uh, house um no why i hear some i hear some buzzing i hear some noise okay uh no i think it's my facebook uh Facebook is buzzing and saying, hello. <laughs> okay. 
So the rule of law is that everybody's equal and everybody has to follow the law, including the government. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I, I, I don't see you. <laughs> you don't see me again? No. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think like yeah. yeah. I can see you again. Uh, okay. okay. So the next one is um, name one branch or part of the government, but try and name all of them. Okay, uh, executive. Yes, and what Ju is the executive? Who is that? Uh, the head is the president. The president, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, legislative. Yes, excellent, and who is that? Uh, it's... Uh, Senators and, Senators and, and representatives, House representatives? Yes, the Senate and the House of Representatives. And the House of Representatives is also called the Congress. Okay. Right? And Congreso is where mm -hmm. they, the Congress meet, the Senate. Okay, so there are three parts of our government, right? Mm -hmm. The legislative, the executive, and what is number three? Judicial. Excellent. And that's the courts. And they are separate, right? Okay. Um, what stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Uh, checks and balances. Excellent. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. I don't understand yet what, what is. Okay. So... What about the other option, separation of powers? What does that mean? Mm. Uh, pues que no pueden estar, que para que no sean muy poderosos cada uno, por eso están separados. Sí. Por ejemplo, oh, in English, okay. The president does not select the senators or the congressmen, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the, se the president will recommend judges, but he does not choose the judge, okay? The judge has to be approved by the Congress. Okay. So, the president cannot choose the judges. They, he can only recommend the judges. Okay. And the judge, the judge um, is not uh, paid or selected by either the president, right? Like the, I want to say the president cannot fire, cannot end a judge, right? Okay. Because the judge, the courts are separate from the executive and the legislative, right? Uh -huh. And the legislative is separate from the president and the courts. Uh -huh. So the separation of powers means that one part cannot become too powerful. Okay. Right? One part cannot be pow too powerful. Exactly. So the question, what stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? The separation of the powers. Okay. Okay? No. The separation of the powers? Yes. This is the answer? Sí, separa okay. separación de poderes, separation of powers, yes. Okay, separation of powers, okay. Great. 
So who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Good. And who makes federal laws? Mm, I think the Congress. Exactly. Now the Congress, the Congress has two parts. What are the two parts? Senators and House representatives. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, all right. And how many senators are there? Uh, 100. Exactly. Why are there 100 senators? Because uh, two, two senators for one each state. Exactly. So in the Senate, in the Senate, every state has an equal number of senators. So a big state or a little state is the same for the Senate. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many years does a senator get elected to? Mm -hmm. I think two? Nope. Or six. Six. So okay. senators are okay. uh, more permanent than representatives. We'll talk about that in a minute. So the Senate is a little bit more powerful, okay? So okay. think about this. In the Senate, there's only two senators, one for every state. Okay. But in the House of Representatives, California has many more representatives than um, North Dakota because mm -hmm. California has many more people than North Dakota. Mm -hmm. In the Senate, every state is the same, but in the House of Representatives, it, um, uh, it, it depends on how many people they have. So uh, in the House of Representatives, California should have more people, mm -hmm. more representatives than South Dakota. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me who is one of your senators now? Um, <clears throat> Michael Bennett. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, running for president now, right? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know. Okay. Michael Bennett. Yeah. Michael right. Bennett. Wow. Now, the House of Representatives has how many voting members? Uh, 435. 435. Excellent. And good English. Really good English. Thank you. Okay. And how long are U.S. Representatives, uh, how long are they voted in? <coughs> uh, six. Other no. way. Uh, two. Yes. So. <laughs> Representatives are elected every two years. Okay. But senators every six years. Six. Okay. All right. So okay. think about like the representatives, there's so many of them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, they, they have to be reestablished every two years. Okay. But the senators, the big guys, right? There's only two of them. Okay. And they stay for six years. Six. Okay. So another six. And rep uh, House representatives, two. Exactly. Okay. Um, name your U.S. representative. Mm. Uh, I think I don't know. I don't know that. Okay, so how can we find out? I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to say, um, uh, let's see, House of Representatives, and you're in Lakewood, Colorado? Yes. Let's see. Uh, no, it's Denver. In Denver. Yes. Um, Colorado members of Congress. List of United States representatives from Colorado. 
Okay. Deanna DeGette. Okay. Doug Lamborn. Ed Perlmutter. Jason Crow. Joe Naguse. Ken Buck. Scott Tipton. So, um, I know, I personally know Diana and Ed Perlmutter. Mm -hmm. um, so, can you see, uh, well, if you look at this, uh, hold on, let me uh, just real quickly, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to end up seeing this twice here. So, can you see my screen? Yes. So, there's a place called ballotpedia.org. Okay. And in there, you can find a list of all of the United States representatives, and I'm looking at Colorado. Okay. And here are the people from Colorado. Okay. 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 Great. Diana Digit. Right. That is correct? Yes. Diana Digit. Uh -huh. Diana Digit. Diana Digit. Or Diana? Or Diana, Di yes. Diana right. Digit. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to stop that share. Okay. Um, here we go. All right. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Senator. <laughs> um. Michael Bennett? No. Who who does who does Michael Bennett represent? The A quienes representa un senador de los Estados Unidos? Okay, okay. Uh, all the people on the state? All the people in his or her state. Okay. Right? So the senator represents all the people in that state. Okay. Okay. Now, why do some states have more representatives than other states? <coughs> because the uh, state po population? Exactly. All right. They have more people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Four years, yes. Mm -hmm. In what month do we vote for president? November. Excellent. And what is the name of the President of the United States now? Donald Trump. Mm hmm And what is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Mike Pence. Okay. Um, and yes, that's perfect. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes the President? Vice President. Of course, the Vice President. But if both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes the president? The speaker of the house. And who is that? Nancy Pelosi. Awesome. Good job. Mm. Who is the commander in chief of the military? John Roberts. Uh, no, uh, the president. Oh, okay, 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 yes. The president <laughs> is the commander in chief. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Who yes, signs bills to become laws? The president. Yes. So what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> ¿Quién firma los uh -huh. proyectos de ley okay. para convertirlos en ley? El presidente. Okay. Sí, pero ¿qué significa? Okay. Uh, pues que él firma los, pues sí, no sé cómo explicarlo, uh, pues sí, como las leyes o algo así, las, las okay. permite, no sé, las revisa o no sé. Muy bien, ok, voy a tratar de explicar, ok. Ok. El presidente no puede construir un nuevo ley. The president okay. cannot make a new law. Okay? okay? Only the legislature can make a new law. Okay. All right. So, the Senate has to pass the law. 
and also the House of Representatives has to agree on the law. Okay. And then they send the new law, the proposal, to the president. Okay. He can sign the law okay. or he cannot sign the law. Okay. If he does not sign the law, that is a veto. Have you heard the word veto? Mm, no. Okay. Veto is the word meaning the Congress makes a new law, but the president says no. Okay. Okay. But he has to sign, firmar the law before it becomes a law. Okay. Cool. Um, and then who vetoes the bills? The president. And what does veto mean? Uh, que no la firma. No. Don't, don't, don't sign. The president don't sign. Exactly. Uh, the proposed. Exactly. Now, what does the president's cabinet do? Advise the president. Yes. All right. What are two cabinet level positions? Okay. Uh, secretary of energy. Yes. Uh, secretary of commerce. Yes. So that's two. Can you name some more? Uh, yes. Uh, the secretary of he no health, health and uh, human services. Very good. Uh, secretary of homeland. Yes, homeland security. Uh, yes. Home and homeland homeland security. Um, vice president. Uh, the vice president is yes one of uh, one of those positions yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Veterans, treasury, transportation, defense. Okay. There are many. There are many. You only need two of them. So good. Okay. Good job. You know lots. And then what does the judicial branch do? Um, review the laws or. Yes. Yes. It, it reviews the laws. It, so okay. the Congress and the president can make a new law. Okay. But the judge, the court, can say that law is okay, or they can say, no, this new law is not okay because it is against the Constitution. Okay. And then we call that unconstitutional. Okay. All right. And mm -hmm. then if the court says it's unconstitutional, then that law is not valid. And um, the, the Congress and the president have to try again and change the law to make it constitutional. Okay. All right. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Yes. Being supreme means highest, right? Yes. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Yes. All right. And who is the Chief Justice of the United States? Um, John Roberts. Excellent. John Roberts. Okay. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Okay. Mm. Mm. Declare uh, war? That Declare. is, yes. So, a state like Colorado cannot declare war. Okay. And Colorado cannot print its own money. Okay. Colorado cannot make an army. Mm -hmm. Only the federal government can do these things. Mm -hmm. Print money and declare the war. Declare war and... Create an army. Right, and, okay. and also, the fourth thing is to make treaties. What is a treaty? 
¿Tratos? Sí, ¿Será? tratos. Okay. Solo el gobierno federal pueden hacer tratos con otro país. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Mm, schooling, schooling and education? Yes. Mm. Another one? Mm, I don't remember. Uh, provide, I don't know. So think about this, like, Schools, police, okay. safety, driver's license. Your driver's license is for Colorado, right? Okay. Not for the United States. Okay. Right? And then <clears throat> what about zoning and land? What does that mean? Um, maybe the place uh, where we live or I don't know. Aprobar. La zonificación y uso de la tierra. So okay. the government will not say um, this land is going to be for an airport. Okay. The state okay. has the right to say what land can be what. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who is the government? I'm sorry. Who is the governor of Colorado? Jared Polis. Jared, Jared, Jared Polis. Okay. Jared Polis. Very good. Okay. What is the capital of Colorado? Uh, Denver. Right. Say Denver. Denver. Good. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> what are the two major political parties in the United States? Uh, Republicans and Democratic, Demo uh, Republicans and Democrats. Democ Democrats. Yes, and you can also say uh, Democratic and Republican, all right? Dem okay. Or Republicans and Democrats. Okay, okay. Republicans right. and Democrats. Good. And what is the political party of the president now? Uh, Republican. He's Republican, yes. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, this says Paul Ryan. Uh, okay. let, me, let me confirm that because I think that uh, might, this might be old. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I just want to hold on. So I think, yes, Nancy Pelosi just became the Speaker of the House again, right? Okay. Yes. yes. So um just a couple of weeks ago nancy pelosi became speaker of the house again okay. okay so if somebody is reading this document when this document was printed uh it was paul ryan but that changed with the last election okay so number 47 to change that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you want to keep going? Yes. All right. Um, there are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Uh, Name, yeah. describe, mm -hmm. describe two of them. Yes. Um, okay. Any theory? Citizen can no. Uh, um, you have to be eighteen years or or more. Right. And you you can be a uh, woman or man. 
and the end, right? Exactly. So there was an amendment to allow any race. Okay. Okay. And then mm -hmm. there was an amendment to also allow women. Okay. And then there was an amendment to say there is no tax. So you don't have to pay some money when you go vote. Okay. And then there was an amendment to make the age 18. Okay. All right. So you okay. can use any of those four things. So what I would try and remember is um, any race okay. and women. Okay. These were yeah. amendments. When the Constitution was first made, that was not true. Women could not vote. Okay. Uh, not just in the United States, in many countries, but I'm glad things change. Right? Yes, <laughs> me okay. too. Right. Okay, what is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Uh, run a federal office and vote for federal uh, election. This is responsibility. So what you just described okay. was a right. Okay, so okay. So you have the right to vote, derecho, uh -huh. And you have the right to run for federal office. Okay. Right? But okay. a right. different question, what is your responsibility? Okay. Uh, follow the law? No. Mm. Do you have your document? I want you to look for this, okay? Number 49. Okay. 40. <coughs> 49. Okay. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Okay. Serve on a jury, but in federal elections. Okay. Uh -huh. Serve in a jury on a jury and vote in federal election. Right. So when you become a citizen, uh -huh. you might be selected to serve on a jury. What is that? Uh... ¿Qué dice en otro lado? Uh -huh. Prestar servicio en un jurado. Sí, ¿qué es jurado? Ok. Um, the people in the civil, civil on, on the court. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes, so the jury, we have a judge and a jury. The jury is the normal people. Ok. Who who listen and say, this person is guilty or this person is innocent. Okay. So, Fair mm -hmm. when you are a citizen, okay. it is your responsibility to serve on a jury if you are selected. Okay. Okay. And what is your other responsibility? Uh, vote. To vote. For to federal election. Right. This is a right and this is also a responsibility. Okay. Right? It's important. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, you already mentioned the two things um, only for United States citizens. Uh, rights? Rights for only United States? Uh, yes. My, uh, but, uh, run for federal office? Run for federal office, yes. And uh -huh. vote in a federal election. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Uh, freedom. Freedom. Uh, and vote? Uh, no. No. Freedom. Uh, speech? Yes. Freedom of expression. 
Okay. So you are not a citizen yet, right? Okay. You right. will you will be in a month, okay? Okay. But you still are allowed to say what you feel. You have the right to express yourself. Okay. You have the right to speak freely. You have the right to assemble, to form groups. Okay. Okay. You have the right to petition the government, to ask the government to change. Okay. Right? You have freedom of religion. Okay. You're not a citizen, but of course, you can be Catholic or Jewish or nothing at all, right? Okay. And what is the last one? It's, it's important. Uh, I don't know. Uh, can I see? Yes, or... number 51. Uh, 51. Uh, expression, speech, assembly, petition to the government, freedom of religion, and the right to bear arms. What is that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> In español? Uh, derecho a portar armas. ¿Qué significa? Uh, I can have a gun. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Yeah. You, you do have the right to have a gun or a knife or something to protect yourself, okay? Okay. Even if you are not a citizen. Okay. Everyone has that right to protect themselves or protect themselves from the government or protect themselves from bad people. Uh, and that is new? Or no, what? That is... I, I think I read uh, someday uh, the permanent residents cannot buy or have uh, a gun. Uh, no, in in I... the in in a book from the library, yeah. Um, it's possible that a permanent resident cannot get a concealed weapon uh, permit. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for this. All right. Okay. Um, so we're gonna ask <clears throat> we're gonna ask Google right now. Okay. Can I buy a gun if I'm not an American citizen, but I have a green card? <clears throat> so. Permanent residents have pretty much the same firearms ownership and purchase rights as citizens. So yes, you can. All right. This okay. is this is part of uh, our constitution, our thing. All right. Okay. Now, um, there may be limits. I mean, just like me. I mean, if I if I buy a gun, I have to register the gun, and you have to also. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, what do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Mm, to the United States and the flag? Right, exactly, perfect. The United States and the flag, all right? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Uh, give up loyalty to other countries. Mm -hmm. And any others? Mm, I don't remember. Okay. So when you become a citizen, you're going to protect the United States, right? And your loyalty is to the United States. Okay. Now, if you are a citizen of both countries, yes, you can be loyal to both countries, all right? Okay. You're going to defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. All right. Okay. You defend? could defend, defender, defend. defender la constitución, constitución. Okay. Okay. You're going to obey the laws of the United States. Okay. You might have to serve in the military if needed. Okay. All right. And you have to be loyal to the United States. Okay. Okay. Bien. But how old 
do citizens have to be to vote for a president? 18? 18. 18, yes. Or older? 18 or older, yes. And what are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Um, vote mm -hmm. and uh, be part of a civil group. Mm -hmm. Part of a political party, help uh, with a campaign, join a community group, okay. um, call senators and representatives, publicly support or oppose an issue or policy, run for office, write to a newspaper. You can do all of these things to participate in the democracy. So you can be involved in how this country is managed. Okay, perfect. I think so too. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? Uh, April 15. Yes, although you can get an extension. And when must all men register for the selective service? Uh, between 18 and 26. Yes. All right. Um, what is selective service? Mm, the mi military? Yes. Military. So they register, we register. Mm -hmm. That does not mean we join the military. Mm -hmm. But if the military needs us, they know where to find us. Okay. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. the registration. Okay. All right. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Mm -hmm. One reason? Freedom? Freedom. Just <laughs> freedom. Yes. Political liberty, religious freedom, economic opportunity, practice their religion, escape persecution, but freedom. Yes. They came here for freedom. Mm -hmm. All right. And who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Uh, Indian Americans or nat Native Americans? Native Americans, we say. Native? Yes, Native okay. Americans. Um, okay. We do still call them American Indians, um, but I think Native American is a nicer word. They, okay. they prefer Native Americans, okay? Okay, Native. And what group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Uh, Africans. Yes, many, many Africans, people from Africa, right? And why did the colonists fight the British? Mm, because they don't have a government, a good government, or Wait, no. um, You're good. You're close. You're very close. Um, Porque no tienen gobierno propio. They didn't self. No, they didn't self government. They didn't have self government. They could not. England, Britain, told them everything. Told them their laws and told them what was happening. And then there's two other things that Britain was doing. One was high taxes. Okay. So the colonists here, the first people here, had to send uh, many things to England, right? Like mm -hmm. um, it could be corn or sugar or tobacco or they had to send many things or money, right? Mm -hmm. And also, the British army was living in the colonists' houses. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and when was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Uh, six. No. Seventeen, uh, seven, seventy-six. Yes, seventeen. July fourth. July fourth. Seventeen, seventy-six. Seventeen, seven, 
76. Very good. July 4th, 1776. All right. There were 13 original states. Can you name three of them? Yes. Um, Virginia, uh, Maryland, and South uh, Carolina. Yes. Okay. So this should be pretty easy because we think about those states on the east, on the, on the right side of the United States. We've got North Dakota, South Dakota, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, all of that area right up there. So you can look at the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even Georgia down the bottom was part of the first 13. Mm -hmm. And what happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written, writing, 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 written, written. 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 The written. Constitution was written at the Constitutional Convention. Mm -hmm. All right. When was the Constitution written? Uh, in 1786 or 87? Yes, 1787. So, 1787. Mm -hmm. 11 years later. Okay. Right? So, we declared our independence from Britain. Okay. And then it took 11 years for us to form a constitution, the, the law of the United States. Mm -hmm. Because there were many people who had opinions about this law. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitu Constitution. Name one of the writers. Uh, mm. James Madison. Excellent. That's all you need. Just one James Madison. That's great. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Alexander Hamilton, John Jay. All right. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. Uh, he was a U.S. diplomat, yes. Um, he was inventor. He was a, an inventor, absolutely. Uh, he started the first free libraries where people could get books. He wrote Poor Richard's Almanac. Uh, he was the first postmaster general of the United States. So the first one to, to manage how the mail, the United States mail, postal, servicio posta, postal, books, you know. He's amazing. He, yeah. um, Benjamin Franklin was an amazing man, yes. But... <laughs> Who do we call the father of our country? George Washington. Right. He was also the first president, right? Yes. Right. He, he led the uh, war against England for freedom. Okay. And then he became the first president. Okay. So it's easy to call him the father of the country. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Now, today we have the state of Louisiana, yes? Mm-hmm. But the territory was much bigger than just this state. Mm-hmm. Okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Uh... War of eighteen twelve. Excellent. Um. Mm -hmm. mm, Civil War. The Civil War, yes. Uh, uh, American Mexican War. Yes, pretty uh, important, right? Yeah. Uh, Spanish Spanish American War. So you know all four of them. You only need one, but you know mm -hmm. all four. Good job. Okay. Yes. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Mexican American? Mm -mm. Uh, uh, the, the, the 19th war? Or? Between the North mm -hmm. and the South. Okay, Civil War? Exactly, the Civil War. Because that was a war amongst ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it was about 
many things. Um, slavery was a was a big question, but also uh, the the economic freedom of the southern states. They did mm -hmm. not want the northern states to tell them what they could do, right? Mm -hmm. What was one problem? Oh, here it is. What is one problem that led to the Civil War? Communism. Uh, communism. Mm -mm. This mm -hmm. is what I was just saying. So what was one problem between the northern and the southern, the Civil okay. War? The slavery. Slavery is the big problem, yes. Okay. All right. Economic reasons, states' rights, okay? Mm -hmm. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Uh, free the slaves. Exactly. Probably the most important. That was the most significant thing. Like, the, the thing we remember. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, abolished slavery, right? Mm -hmm. But... Mm -hmm. What he really did was he kept our country as one country. Mm -hmm. Because if without him, without that, the United States would probably now be two, at least two countries or many countries, mm -hmm. right? like in Europe. Yes. Right? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves? Yes, exactly. Can you say those words, please? Uh, emancipation proclamation? Yes. In, in Espanol, ¿qué significa? No sé. Ok, um, proclamación. Proclamación. De la emancipación. emancipación. Sí, es lo mismo, es lo mismo, pero en inglés. The Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation. The Emancipation Proclamation. Good job. Freed the slaves. All right. And what did Susan B. Anthony do? Uh, fought, fought for women's rights. Yes, exactly. And civil rights and women's rights. Mm -hmm. Okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Okay. Mm -hmm. The World War One and Two. Yes, World War One, World War Two, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and the Gulf War. So mm -hmm. just World War One, just okay. yeah, the eighteen hundreds, the Civil War, Spanish American War, right? Vietnam. Nine, yeah, nineteen hundreds is Vietnam, yeah. World War One, World War Two. Those, okay. Who was, mm -hmm. who was the president during World War One? Uh, Goodrow Wilson. Excellent. Boy, you really have studied this. <laughs> yes. And who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Uh, Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt, yes. Mm -hmm. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Um, Japan, uh, Germany, and Italy. Excellent. So good. You are so smart, okay? Thank you. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Uh, World War II. Yes. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. 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 Yes. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Mm, this, mm, can you repeat me the question, please? Yes. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Mm. Que movimiento trató... Civil rights? Or exactly. Civil yeah. rights. Think about yeah. this. Civil rights was the idea that everybody has the same rights. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, to end racial discrimination. Okay. That's the end. That's to say, before this, 
you know, white people had one bathroom, black people another bathroom. That's discrimination, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. To end discrimination, to have better jobs, equal schooling, the same laws, the same laws for everybody, mm -hmm. we need civil rights, rights for everybody. Okay. Great. Okay. What did Martin Luther King do? Uh, fought for the civil rights. He fought for the civil rights. He worked for equality for all Americans. Mm -hmm. What major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorist, terrorist attack on uh, the United States. Yes. Okay. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Um, Cherokee. 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 Um, Let me. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to pronounce these. Okay. For the recording, and you can watch this recording afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cherokee, Navajo, Sioux, Chippewa. Choctaw, Pueblo, Apache, Iroquois, Creek, Blackfeet, Seminole, Cheyenne, Arawak, Shawnee, Mohican, Huron, Oneida, Lakota, Crow, Teton, Hopi, and Inuit. Okay, and you can watch those, but um, I think you only need one, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. so uh, the most popular in Colorado, okay. right? Cherico Cherokee, Navajo, Sioux, those, those were all in this area, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, up to Wyoming, um, okay. very common in the West. Okay. Some of these, like the Chippewa and the Choctaw, were more in the east. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi. Mississippi, River. yes. What mm -hmm. ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Yes, and on the east coast? Atlantic Good. Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Uh, Puerto Rico, Guam. Yes. Puerto mm -hmm. Rico, Virgin Islands, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, and Guam. But Puerto Rico, obviamente. Okay. Y ellos quieren ser parte de los Estados Unidos. Algunos, mm -hmm. no todos. Algunos, okay. sí. Name one state that borders Canada? New York. Yes, New York does. Any of those states on the top, right? Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Minneapolis, no, Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington, Alaska, yes. Okay, but what about one state that borders Mexico? Texas. Mm -hmm. New Mexico, Arizona, California. You know those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Excellent. And where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, and another thing we can say is Liberty Island. Right? Okay. It's also New Jersey, near New York City, and on the Hudson River. Any of those things are okay. Like, where's the Statue of Liberty? It's on the Hudson River. Where's the Statue of Liberty? It's near New York City, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. When do we celebrate Independence Day? Fourth of July. Yes, we do. Name two national U.S. holidays. Uh, Labor Day, Martin Luther King Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, New Year's, Martin Luther King, Presidents, Memorials, Independence, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, any of those big holidays where you don't have to go to work and the children do not go to school. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. 
Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because of 13 original colonies. Exactly. And why does it have 50 stars? Because we have 50 states and there is one uh, star for each state. Exactly. And the last question, number 100, what is the name of the national anthem? Mm, the Star Spangled Banner. Good job. I am so impressed. I am so impressed. Good job. Now Thanks. remember, they're only going to ask you 10 of these questions. Mm -hmm. And you only need to get six of them. Mm -hmm. You're fine. You're great. You're doing so well. Continue to read this document. Um, maybe watch this video when I post it. Um, and then uh, call me if, or, or whatever. Call uh, Derek also. You could do the same thing with Derek. Okay. Um, and uh, really, I, I am so impressed. You are ready to go. Let's see. Uh, camera and logos. No, home and logos. Zoom. I will find it. Interview. There we go. That's the uh, that's the, the view I'm looking for. Do you have any more questions for me? Uh, no. Um, I I will uh, try uh, uh, see my uh, see and study my application. Okay. Uh, my, my personal. Uh, uh, information and some questions uh, like how to how to be a citizen citizen US US citizens um, como preguntas más casuales que me vayan a hacer como para pues sí algunas otras preguntas también voy a estudiar eso okay. muy bien <laughs> si, si necesitas algo más uh, escríbame um, okay. uh, es interesante para mí también. Okay. 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 Excelente. Que tengas un lindo día. Disfruta. Um, todo va a estar bien. Sí. Gracias. Muchas okay. gracias por, por tu ayuda. Okay. Con mucho gusto. Bye. Bye. <laughs>